What's up everybody, my name is CJ and today we're going to show you how to connect strip lights to a four channel receiver. We're gonna pair it all up with a power supply, light it up, connect it up to a remote, show you how each piece of the process works so that you can have fully functioning strip lights by the end. With that out of the way, let's get to it. So first of all, let's go over what you'll need. The first thing is you're gonna need a 24 volt power supply. Now we have strip lights in either 12 or 24 volts. So this for this project, we're gonna be using a 24 volt uh, strip light. So we got a 24 volt power supply. If you want more information on how to choose the correct power supply for your system, go ahead and check out this video right here. You're gonna need strip lights. Um, today, we're gonna be using our W series RGBW strip lights because this is the one that uh, has the most cables so that we can show kind of the most complicated setup. And uh, then you're gonna need your, of course, your Z series receiver or the four channel uh, RGBW receiver. Uh, and then a remote, of course, the, uh, all of these products come separately. So you're gonna need a remote that comes with this. I can pair to the receiver. And then the only tool you're gonna need to make this whole system work is of course a uh, little screwdriver to plug in all the wires correctly. Probably the first thing that most people do, first thing that most people do is they're gonna install their strip lights into whatever project they have. So we're just gonna do it here on the table just for demonstration purposes. We're gonna go ahead and peel off the back for the adhesive tape backing. Now, if you have waterproof strip lights, then there will be no adhesive tape backing. So if you have waterproof strip lights, then that won't actually um, matter to you as much. So then you're gonna have to install that with our mounting clips or other products. Once these are installed to whatever surface that you're installing to, maybe they're under cabinets or you know on the side of a, a boat, on the interior of a boat, we're gonna go ahead and take our power supply, make sure it's unplugged. So the next thing we're gonna do is get our Z series receiver right here and our power supply and wire these together because the power is gonna feed the receiver, which is gonna feed the strip lights. So the first thing we're gonna get here is our wires. And so there are two wires here that goes with the two leads. And so the red wire lead goes to the V positive and the black one goes to the V negative lead. And you see they translate to these two power inputs right here. So we're gonna go ahead and install the red where it goes and the black where it goes. So the red goes to be positive right here. And we're gonna go ahead and, and screw that in with our flathead screwdriver. Again, that's our only tool that we need. And the black goes into here, just like this. We're gonna have to screw that in and tug it. There we go. Now everything is nice and installed. So some power supplies come with uh, two leads. We just wired the one lead into the receiver. Some come with two leads to uh, expand the, the LED system. We just cap this one off and put it off to the side so we don't need to worry about that. So the next thing we're gonna do here is go ahead and wire in our strip lights. Super simple system, kind of along the same lines. We have our black V positive lead that goes into here. We have our red, green, blue, and white, and those all correspond to the wires that we have here. So we're gonna go ahead and install each one of those accordingly. And this might just take a little bit of time here. Just a quick note here, when you're hooking up single color strip lights, there's only gonna be two wires, a red and a black. The red cable is going to be the one that you insert into the V positive terminal instead of the black cable that we're doing in this setup. There we go. And they're all nice and safely in there. Now that everything is plugged in, ready to go, let's go ahead and take our controller and start to pair it. If you want a more in-depth tutorial on how to pair this remote to this controller, go ahead and check out this video on this card right here. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and hit the power button for the red light and we'll wait for the red light to come on. Let's go ahead and hit our learn button on the controller right here. We'll hit our zone button. And then we'll go ahead and hit our color wheel. And there we go, everything is totally paired. And we can go ahead and hit the W button to turn off the white setting and just have the RGB and turn on the 
white chip again and turn on the RGB. Thank you so much for watching. We hope this video was helpful to you. If you need any more help, please reach out to our team of LED experts. And always remember, light up that subscribe button.